Here we are with the best energizer for online classes. Now for me, the best energizer has to uh, uh, let people engage at a level of their own comfort, which is why I love this exercise so much. I want to attribute this to someone, but it's like on the internet in lots of places. The exercise is called In the Manner of the Adverb. I'm Chad, let's get into it. So I just ran this exercise with a group yesterday in a bit of an experimental fashion. We tried four different variations of it. And to be really honest, as I was facilitating it because I was experimenting with some new variations of it, it just all came out like a blurry mess. And so I'm gonna explain the activity in its simplest terms. And then at the risk of making a fool of myself but entertaining you, I'm going to do it as if we were on an online class or in a um, virtual context right now, which I suppose we are because this is a video. And then you could be in a variety of contexts working with a variety of uh, groups or students. And so I want to give you uh, some, some of the messy variations that have been going around in my head so that you can steal them and reinterpret and adapt them to your own context. So really simply, the idea is you're asking the group to do things in the manner of the adverb. And so what I would do in, in its base way in an online class is I would either invite one person to turn their volume off. So I'd ask for a guinea pig, somebody who's willing um, and comfortable telling people what to do, which you'll probably get somebody really lovely to volunteer for that. So invite a guinea pig and ask them to turn their volume off in a moment. And then when you say, when you like gesture them to turn their volume on or you go like this, they can turn their volume off. And the point of that is you wanna be able to speak to the rest of the group without them hearing what you're saying. So you want this one person to kind of be in the dark as to what you said to the rest of the group, but you want the rest of the group to be know exactly what's happening. One other way you can do this, if you're on Zoom, you can actually put that person in the waiting room and then bring them back. And they don't actually have to do anything. You can, there's a little option somewhere around there to say put in waiting room. You can hover over their face and do that. Um, and that works as well. I like the idea of just having them turn their volume off because they get to see the group's reactions and probably laughter and smiles and some chaos going on. And it just creates this level of intrigue of like, well, this person doesn't know what's happening. And then when they turn their volume back on, they're like, right, there's, there's just some fun energizing group element to that. So. The directions very simply are, so invite the group to come off mute and just say, what are some adverbs? And usually they begin with L-Y, give them a couple examples. Quickly, happily, sleepily, etc. I would suggest then picking one that made everybody kind of laugh or you think will be especially entertaining or intriguing, etc. And then, uh, so you agree on a word. So let's say sleepily is the adverb that the group chooses. You then say, okay, person, come back on, or you let them through the waiting room. You have the, that one individual turn their volume on, and then you say, okay, you're comfortable telling people what to do. We'd love for you to invite us to do a variety of actions that we can do in our virtual spaces in our context. So they might say, twirl your finger in the manner of the adverb. And so you just invite them to say it in that pattern or in that uh, format. Twirl your finger in the manner of the adverb. Dance in the manner of the adverb, etc. cetera. So if, if our adverb was sleepily, Twirl your finger in the manner of the adverb. Dance in the manner of the adverb. Okay, I told you I was gonna, at the risk of making a fool of myself but being slightly entertaining, um, I'm gonna introduce one other element to it that you can get. This is a thumb ball. It comes from Michelle Cummings, training wheels. You can get them in lots of places, um, but there's all sorts of actions already built into them. So I'm going to give this to Steven. Steven, here you go. So Steven now has the power of a bunch of um, active verbs. Now you don't need to use this because you can have the group just generate actions. However, there's something really fun sometimes about uh, using some physical tool, especially if you've got younger audiences. If you're on Zoom and you have the ball, you can throw it up and hold it up to the camera um, and do that. So. Your goal, we're actually gonna play or this energizer right now. I'm going to do things in the manner of the adverb. So I'm gonna choose an adverb in my brain and your job is to guess what adverb I am doing things in. Here we go, we might need a little bit more space for this though. All right, Steven, hit me. All right, first we're gonna go with hit a home run. Okay, next we got uh, ice skate. Yeah, we're 
go with uh, dance. Okay, and pause. Feel free, if you got it by this point after three actions, feel free to guess the adverb in the comments before I share it with you at the end of the video. Okay, enough of that. Let's do some uh, uh, variation. So what you just saw me do, right, I would personally be super turned off by is an energizer if we all had to do something angrily. And so the variation that I've been playing with that I really like is this concept of inviting everybody in the group to choose their own adverb so they can do these actions in the manner that they want to, not in the manner that you've uh, mandated for them. And so the way that I would do this is uh, utilizing breakouts. So I'd split people up either into couples or truples, um, into pairs or groups of three. And their job is really simply to figure out, uh, in this breakout, to figure out who's partner A, who's partner B, and, and maybe who's partner C. They're also going to think about what adverb they want to do things within or what manner they want to do things within. They're going to think of their adverb, but they're not going to share it with the group. And this is important that they don't share with the group because then what you want to do is bring people back from breakouts. Those breakouts can literally take 30 seconds because you just need to be able to choose A, B, or C, or whether they're partner A, B, and C. And then when we're all back in the group, I would say hit a home run in the manner of the adverb. And my directions would be, uh, Partners A and B, you do the action, and partner C, B in gallery view, try to figure out the manner in which your partners A and B are doing that action. You could do it in, in, if it's in a pair, right? It's just partner A does the action, partner B is guessing the manner of the adverb. And so you list off a few actions as the facilitator, and then pause and let the group guess. You could either have them guess in the chat, or I think it's kind of fun to say, have people unmute and say, Jess, was your adverb happily, etc. The last variation that I want to share with you is um, inviting people to generate a list of actions rather than using the, the thumb ball or anything else. Actually have the group generate a list of actions in the chat, especially if you're doing like a round two of this, the group kind of has the idea for the exercise. Invite everyone in the chat to just type some action that they think would be kind of intriguing to see the group all do in gallery view. I wish I had some good live footage of this that I could share with you in Zoom because it looks hilarious when a group is doing it. Um, and if you have people do it in the manner of their own adverb. It also is an energizer that lets people, if they want to choose the adverb sleepily, they can do that. If they want to choose enthusiastically, they can do that. And so it's actually an energizer that's personalized to every single person. By the way, the manner of the adverb that I was doing that within was angrily. I hit a home run angrily, I was dancing angrily, I was ice skating angrily. If you do want to see this happen live, head to the link in the description below to download our free digital connection toolkit, which has a ton of resources. And every once in a while, we host free and open workshops that anybody can dive into virtually. Um, and perhaps you'll get a chance to experience um, that with us live. I'm Chad Littlefield. Have an awesome day.